Welcome to ADP Training, YouTube's automotive technology channel. In this channel, you'll learn all kinds of auto repair secrets, how your automobile works, and how to diagnose it. Hello everybody and welcome to another video. In today's video, we are going to uh, go into the, uh, the sensor side of the, uh, the A-channel scope to test the uh, air intake pressure sensor. Uh, this is a Bosch unit, um, and it's a diesel unit as well. <clears throat> so as you can see on screen, uh, on the top of the screen, this is what you get. Uh, this is the actual, um, uh, in other words, this, this is the, it's a sample waveform over here. Okay, so uh, the sample waveform, we don't have a sensor. We're going we're gonna to show you a, a signal. Uh, but we don't have uh, a, a diesel engine right now to show you, show you what it looks like. But it looks like this. This is actual, the actual sample. And what you, what you see here, it's a, it's a goose, a wide open throttle goose of the uh, uh, air intake pressure sensor, pretty much. Uh, and no, so this is it's typical to the barrel sensor, the, barom the barometer sensor. Uh, so, uh, but it's it's more critical when it comes to uh, diesel engines because of the fact that diesels have a little vacuum and so uh, if you have especially if it has a turbo in there uh, so it's uh, uh, the computer can uh, ascertain a lot of information from from this particular uh, particular signal okay and so basically you know but it's it's it, it there's nothing to it so, you know this is uh it is a uh, goose wide open throttle signal uh, that you see when you goose the throttle, um, and, um, and that's pretty much it, you know. Uh, so this is the vehicle at idle over here, uh, the beginning of, of the signal, uh, and then wide full wide open throttle, and then this is the de deceleration period, uh, and it takes a little bit of time for this for the uh, for the signal to settle down, okay, uh, because of the um, uh, you know whatever uh, the friction on the engine and what have you <clears throat> so anyhow so uh, this is a very simple video there's not much to uh, go by uh, I mean when you choose the, this particular sensor and this what you're seeing now at the bottom uh, this is the this is uh, an injection a signal injection that we're injecting uh, on this on, on the uh, on channel one uh, this is what you would see now just to let you know, there is a provision on the side of the scope, uh, which is a test signal, okay? Uh, and you, you actually, you pick that signal. This is, this, is, uh, this is the signal generator that we're using right now. Uh, so, uh, you know, there's, there's uh, the, the, the signal on the side of the scope, uh, it's a, um, I think it's a two volt peak to peak. It's a one kilohertz signal, similar to this right here. This is about one point. No, this is actually 20. This is 20 hertz. This is a very low frequency. And so, uh, but anyhow, so you can actually clip on the side of the scope and you don't even need a signal generator with this particular scope, okay, uh, to test. Uh, and so over here, you pretty much change the, uh, uh, the, um, the time base to spread the signal around, okay. Um, the signal generator allows me to change to between uh, sine wave or square wave, okay. This has nothing to do with this particular sensor. This is just us messing around with the with the input 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 signal. Now, uh, just so that you know, this here is the trigger. If we go off off the signal, the the signal starts jumping around, okay. Uh, and this one here, uh, there's a trigger here on the top, okay? So the intersection between these two lines, this, this guy here, this guy here, and the trigger on the top, it's where it triggers. So if you're not getting anything in this particular uh, uh, position, then you, it's not really going to trigger off of anything. Uh, now, if we lower the trigger a little bit, then the signal stabilizes, as you see. Uh, and so anyhow. Uh, you may need to do that when testing the air intake pressure sensor to be able to, if you want to catch, uh, say for example, uh, a glitch uh, at some point in the, in the signal. So say you want to catch a glitch over here. Let me see if I could raise the, the trigger. 
you will raise the trigger somewhere around here. Okay, so it's going to trigger right around here. Okay, now let me see if I could if I could insert the lines here for the trigger. Uh, give me one second. I do know that. Uh, you know, let me see if there is a way to trigger. Okay, this is the edge of the trigger. Because we you can trigger on edge, rising edge, falling edge, stuff like that. Uh, okay, so this is a way for uh, for me to show you uh, the trigger intersection lines. Uh, so basically, this is this is what what we do to trigger over here, and then you trigger over here. Okay, so this is the trigger right around here. Okay. This is just to show you where. So if we get a glitch right here, as soon as it crosses that point, uh, it it triggers. Okay. Uh, say we we raise the trigger a little bit. Now we're gonna gonna have the trigger over here. And over here. So here, that's what we have. Okay. In other words, you know, we are trying to trigger off of. Uh, to, to find the trigger if we don't find if the signal never goes above this point here it's not going to trigger you so you're you're not going to see anything uh, but this is very useful if you have a, a, a sensor that's going off scale and it's, it's giving you an, an issue uh, whereby you know you get a glitch a spike and that's that's how you set it up to trigger off of that particular point so this is just a, a uh, like an add-on that we did here on the video. So just to uh, uh, this this video is pretty it's very simple video uh, because it's um, it doesn't really go. Uh, this is a very simple sensor to test. So uh, anyhow, so we'd like to thank you for tuning in to our channel ATP Training, uh, and uh, pretty much where we show you all kinds of uh, uh, automotive technology stuff, uh, diagnostics, repairs, how. Uh, specific sensors and electronics, especially the electronics, uh, how they work, uh, and uh, so on and so forth. At the bottom of the, if you look further down, away, f you know, off of the, uh, the, the the actual video, you're going to see a couple of links or, or, or little uh, um, little figures in there, so that one of them has like a little dollar sign. That's if you want to donate. Uh, there's another one to be uh, subscribed to our channel like a paid subscriber for like five bucks a month, you know, something like that, which is very inexpensive uh, to you guys. And it really helps us out quite a bit cause, because this is getting very expensive. Uh, I mean, it's always been expensive, but it's even more expensive now as we go forward. Uh, anyhow, so, you know, a lot of issues, you know, the related related to uh, the pr production of these videos is, is it's, uh, it's very time consuming, you know. So anyhow, we'd like to thank you for tuning in to our channel. Uh, if you want to uh, give us a donation, we really appreciate it. Uh, so uh, thank you for tuning in and thank you for watching. This channel is for do-it-yourselfers, as well as professional auto repair technicians. We present all the content using the latest CG animation techniques, on hands video, and how-to, tips and techniques. We encourage you to subscribe to this channel now. Once subscribed, anytime we upload a new automotive tip, secret, or technology video, you will be notified. Finally, by subscribing, you will also be part of our weekly freebies. Yes, we're constantly giving away lots of free merchandise. Automotive Diagnostics and Publishing's Mandy Concepcion, the owner of this channel, is one of the most prolific auto technology authors on the web. At any moment in time, we may offer a free book. Kindle ebook, Android app, one of our own diagnostic equipment, or even auto repair software that runs on your PC. Subscribe now free of charge, learn lots of automotive technology secrets, and win free stuff. It doesn't get any better than that. Thanks for watching, and enjoy.